What's up guys, Tim Little, Matt Allen, welcome back to Tactical Bassin and welcome back to another buyer's guide video for you. Today's video, we are talking soft plastics. Soft plastics are an enormous category. So our goal here today was to pick a couple of favorites from each category. This is actually a really quick video. What we're doing here, we're not going in depth. We're just saying in the, I don't know. Curly tail worm Curly category. tail worm category. Here's, here's two that we have yeah. a ton of confidence in. Soft stick baits, here's two. Creature bait, here's two. These are the baits that we constantly grab and go. Uh, you will notice some things missing. Drop shot won't be here. Ned rig won't be here. Tiny baits that we would have BFS fished with. We already covered those in specific videos, but these are core bass fishing categories, core baits that we all own, something in the category. These are the key baits that we personally rely on. You wanna kick us off? Sure, let's start with curly tails. I got two for you. I got the Kitek Magwag and I got the Netbait C Mac. You know, these baits, I don't, I don't even want to pull these out because all you, everything is all you. everything is is smelly. These are your worms with big curly tails. They're worms that have a ton of action. You're gonna Texas rig them, you're gonna Carolina rig them, but these are worms that as you're dragging that tail's back there flapping in the current or spiraling, swimming around. If you want a, a worm that has action, these guys are for you. All right, next category here, straight tailed worms. I've got two for you. One is unique. This is the Nichols tapeworm. Same deal, we're not opening any of these bags because <laughs> soft plastics, half of them stink so bad. But the tapeworm, the front third of the body is a traditional worm. Everything after that is paper thin. And if you rig it with the flat side faced out, when you hop that bait and you're aggressive with it, it has this amazing ribbon motion and it just kills on a shaky head. Very unique bait. The other one is like as bread and butter as it gets in our lineup. The Netbait T-Mac is hands down our staple shaky head worm. Just, you're going shaky head fishing anywhere, any day, you start with the T-Mac. Uh, that's just a bait that we have an incredible amount of confidence in. Now for each of these, we'll link them in the video description in the order we're talking about them, and we'll give you our favorite couple of colors for every bait as well. All right, next up for me, I went two different packs, two different styles of weightless worms. Your Yamamoto Senko, five inch Senko, and your Depths Cover Scat, two different shaped worms, but they are made to be fished weightless. Wacky rigged, Texas rigged, Texas rigged only, but this has a super unique fall. It's it's made to mimic like uh, crawdads, I think, maybe some gobies or something. It looks like it mimics some other things, but <laughs> but definitely one is like the staple bait. <laughs> had to go and there. The, had to go there. Go ahead and put that one down now. Um, <laughs> anyways. Before I was rudely interrupted. <laughs> uh, the Senko, the five inch Senko, you can go six inch, seven inch, but we you can't do a plastics video without talking about the Senko. Right. All right, next category, speed worms. I actually forgot a bait, which is bound to happen somewhere in the buyer's guide. And we made it all the way to the second to the last video before it happened. The Zoom speed worm, specifically though, the mag speed worm, is a major player for me. Uh, when I fish a speed worm, it's typically like big power fishing, right? Deep in the South, Florida, California Delta, and that mag speed worm is a killer. Yamamoto just came out this year with the seven inch speed Senko. That is my other one. I love fishing speed worms. I love Yamamoto's super supple action. I also love Yamamoto's colors. colors. Yeah. So that's a killer option. All right, next category is gonna be JDM uh, baits. Baits that come from overseas. Yeah, how do you categorize either one of those? I don't even really know, but we're gonna, talk, we're gonna talk about the Geekrack, 
That is the bellows shad. You guys have probably seen me talk or shown you guys about talk about the bellows gill. This is a new bait. It's actually the bellows shad. A little bit different profile. Same ribbed body. Same oily, greasy, <laughs> smelly. You want to open it and smell it and see if we can keep talking? I do not, but I will leave it for you guys to click on the link and go check out the pictures. But that works great. Rigged vertically on a drop shot works great. Texas rig on a free rig. The other bait, this guy right here, the Jackal Honey Badger. Honey Nugget. Honey Badger. Honey Badger. <laughs> it's been a long day, man. <laughs> yeah, Honey Nugget. Sorry, thinking football. Uh, that guy right there. This is a bait that really shines on a free rig. It's unlike any other bait that I've seen on the market. It's kind of like your Bellow Shad, but then it has little feet on it. it has a lot of kick to it. So again, the free rig, you could you could flip with it if you wanted. Oh, for sure. You but can that, rig that. that is going to be another JDM product that uh, just really works. And those two, those ended up in here because we're talking staples, right? But on every lake where everybody throws the staples, there's a time and a place for throwing something completely different. Right. And those two, a bellow shad and a honey nugget, are a bait that most of the other bait, the boats out on the lake aren't throwing. They don't even have them in the boat. It's not that they're more expensive or something like that. They're just not as well known. They're unique right. baits. They stand out and they will get you bit when other baits won't. All right, true creature baits. I've got two here for you. The Reaction Innovations Man Bear Pig. Of the two, it's the smaller of the two. Tim and I have done so much damage with this bait over the years. Uh, fished on like a three aught. So it's a, even though it's a long creature, it's a very slim creature. Uh, it's a bait that just works when other baits don't. We've caught so many fish on it. And then a little bit bigger profile, the Missile Baits Destroyer. Uh, similar traditional creature bait, big long appendages. It really, when you're reeling it back to the boat, it really draws out. Those tails are kicking. It's a full profile. But just a one-two punch, both really unique creature baits that get bit consistently. Yeah, creature baits that have a ton of movement, a ton of action, those two are staples. Now let's talk about creature baits that don't have a lot of action. We're gonna talk about the Reaction Innovations Sweet Beaver. This is the staple in flipping and pitching. You know, if you're trying to mimic a craw that is tentacle or craw pinchers tucked in yep. as they're kicking away, that's the beaver right there. Another one that's a staple in this category is gonna be the Jackal Archelon. Now what makes this bait different or special, it's hollow on the inside. So when you go to jack that fish, the hook doesn't have to go through the entire belly of the bait to get into the roof of that fish's mouth. It is hollow, great hook penetration. Again, same type of profile, ribbed profile with the pinchers tucked in. That guy is a must. That, that Jackal Archelon, there's thousands of baits on the market. That is my personal favorite punching and flipping bait yeah everybody's got a favorite that's mine yeah it's a it's a solid bait but in the belly it's hollow so you can you can put your hook you can do it like a normal texas ring go all the way through or you only go leave it halfway and just leave the hook in the hollow interior and it lasts forever but when they eat it it's nothing to pound that hook through and get them yeah if you're looking for a true weedless bait like matt just said leave that hook in that hollow body of that bait and you don't have to worry about that hook point sticking through until you really set the hook. Yep. Uh, let's you do that one. I know you love that bait. I do. All right, the very last bait and then we'll wrap it up. A craw or a creature bait with a lot of kick without a bunch of appendages. That's the net bait Packa Slim. I love this bait. Net bait's got a bunch of Packa products. The net bait Packa Slim, it's a four inch bait it's solid bodied, so it's a great flipping bait. It works great as a jig trailer as well. But that bait has a ton of kick out of those two big pack of claws on there. And I really like that profile when fish are active and aggressive. And I do a lot of different things with it. We'll wrap it up there. Guys, we are almost done with the Buyer's Guide series. We've got one more on Wednesday, and then that is it. We have wrapped it up headed into the holidays. It's been a heck of a ride so far. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. We'll link all these different products in the video description with our favorite colors, just like I said before. If you enjoyed the video, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, and we'll talk to you soon.